I'm Matt Garska, and these are my signature hi-hats. They're called the equilibrium hats. That's because it's the same kind of concept behind the china, in that they need to have a good chick, they need to have a good open sloshy sound, they need to have a good tip attack and a good shank attack. We've done a variety of things to these hi-hats to get this sound. Basically what we've done is put holes in the bottom hat and that's to help release some of the air and that kind of brings out some of the chick in there. This portion is raw, it's extra dry. This portion has been lathed and this section, uh, the underside of the bottom, has been sandblasted. The, the holes in the bottom really help the chick. The, some, some of the lathing really helps it to have more bite and more cut, yet they're still nice, kind of dry and, and papery hats whenever you open them up. They're not overwhelming, you know, and because they're this natural finish here, I think that contributes to the attack that we get with the, with the tip. When I play an instrument, I want it to work in virtually every situation, and I want to develop a relationship with that instrument. These are touring hi-hats, studio hi-hats, practice room hi-hats, small jazz club hi-hats. These hats, I'm gonna be playing these for 10, 20, 30, who knows how many years, but a lot. <laughs>